Okay, so, um, again, just, I need, or I would like to see people that would, uh, actually post comments to show, to say that they have gone through the tutorials that I've done, Pac-Man and, uh, this platform, and that they will, you know, they will go through the tutorials for the multiplayer games, because, uh, part of the thing that I think would be neat is if I can get a good enough group of people that are all willing to do it, then, you know, everybody in that little group will be able to actually make games that interact with one another, which would be pretty cool. You know, like, you'd be connecting to somebody else's game to play, even though the side that you're using, your client, looks and acts the way you want it to act, and theirs acts their way, but of course, as long as you guys have followed the tutorials, they'll still be compatible. Um, just things I'm thinking about. Obviously, I, I don't have it all planned out, but I'd like to have some options. And right now, if you were to make a game, um, you know, who are you going to play it with to start off with? A lot of people are going to have some trouble setting up firewalls or just finding other people who are going to play. So it'd be kind of neat to have a little group already there who are willing to play each other's games, you know, to try them out and stuff. So it's something to, to think about. So grab some people and have them go through the tutorials and uh, make sure you post. Not just Don't just send me a, the mail. I like, you know, put the comments on there that say, you know, you've done the stuff you're willing to to do more. So, where were we? Minimap. That's where we were. Minimap. Um, let me see. We want to be able to see the enemies. Draw a minimap. And we want to see, like, maybe the spawn points. Maybe we want to see the exit. I don't know if it's as important. But I'm going to copy one of these lines. Put it Now, we're not going to be looping through the tiles, of course because it doesn't work that way. What we're going to do is assume that the spawn point is already there for Pac-Man. So I'm going to say VB green because he was using the color green, I believe. And you know what? This code in here already has... All right, well, here we go. Never mind. I was going to shortcut something, but it'd just be confusing. It's going to draw. Now, if I leave it like this, it's going to draw the spawn point as a big filled-in er, square. We don't really want that. See, I'll, I'll show you um, if I load. See, it's green down here. It's just a square. That could get confusing. So what I want to do is instead of saying that it is a box and filled in, I'm just going to say it's a box. Let's see how that looks. See, there we go. So it still draws a box. It just doesn't fill it in. So at least it stands out as separate from walls and other things. Now, you know what? I don't I might not be the only person who thinks that having a white background makes the green hard to see. So, you know what I'm going to do here is just go into the picture box, go to back color and just pick some maybe a gray or something. Let's see how this looks. It's actually harder to see now. I'm going to go with a darker gray. Um, and I also might not be the only person that's getting annoyed with loading the map every time. I think it should probably start off loaded. There we go. It's easy to see the green now, and I can still see the black pretty well. So this is how I'm changing mine. Um, let me put in first the other um, mini-map uh, lines of code. Let's do that first. One thing at a time, 4 Z equals 1 to enemies. Next, Z. The enemies were red, so E A Z, Z and E B Z. E A Z and E B Z. Oh, uh, I noticed something last night, I think it was. I went through the Pac-Man videos and I don't know if I had specified to anybody that I use the advanced SDI mode for VB. So if it looks a little different than what you're used to, that would be why. And also, I don't declare my variables. I don't have to. At least not local variables. And uh, I posted a comment on my first YouTube video um, in case anybody didn't know how to do that. But here's what I did. If you missed that, 
and you've been confused up until now, then I definitely apologize. It's a, this is a one-time setting, so that's why I forget that I even have it on. If you go to Tools and Options, Advanced, you can check SDI Development Environment. What that will do is change it so that you're not restricted to a, a box when you're creating your form. Um, and also, you can any you can just create a local variable just by using it. You don't have to declare it anywhere, and it won't give you any errors. Um, that's what I do myself because I don't like to be slowed down to declare my variables. Now I know it's safer to have the original mode turned on because then you don't have to work. If you type a variable that has not been declared, it assumes it's a typo and it warns you and stuff. But I I find that it's faster to fix the occasional typo than it is for me to have to sit and declare everything. All right, so we have um, destroying the enemies, exits, and the exits were yellow, I believe. And it was exit A and exit B. Exit A and exit B. So, yeah, hopefully I didn't lose too many people with that because uh, I felt a little bad when I realized I had never explained that. So I think I explained it in the RTS challenge video thing that I did, but not everybody who saw the Pac-Man one saw that one. And I don't know if I ever told people to go watch it in the Pac-Man video. So we'll see how this goes. We load it, and sure enough, I can see the spawn points on the minimap as boxes. Now, two things I want to change about loading. Notice how it, it told me the message box popped up and said loaded, but you didn't see anything yet. That just means I need to switch two lines of code. If I go into load, well, no, actually, uh, all right, ignore that. Let's load the map all automatically when we load um, the program. So I want to grab this at the top. This is the name of the function. And when we do a form load, you know, it, this is all going to be wasted. So I'm just going to initializing the very the initializing the variables is not necessary if we're going to be loading from the map file so I'm going to just say call form load click so what that does is well uh, this is a problem people using the advanced load method are going to run into a problem because when you run the program instead of just loading like mine just did it's actually going to open up that box and ask you to select a map so if you're using the advanced load method, don't don't do this. What I just did here, you know, the advanced method. Leave these lines in, and don't put this here. You're going to have to just, for now, just do it the long way, the way you've been doing it, where when you start up, you actually have to load your map. Um, again, I'm going to cater to the people doing it the simple way. So, for the people doing it the simpler way, just follow along. I haven't saved it. At least I don't think I have. Um, let's see what's next. Am I sure I want to load? Yes. Okay. Uh, there's got to be more I'm missing. Um, we have enemies. Well, spawn points. We have hero. We have exits. We have all three type, types of... Well, four, technically, types of tiles. We have sky, land, ladder, and death. You know, I'm going to say that that's it. We don't have anything right now like keys or, you know, health packs that are sitting around or special blocks that you smash from underneath, you know, like Mario. We don't have any of that stuff, so uh, I'm not adding any of it. And if later on I decide to add something crazy like that, then you know what? I guess that just means I have to uh, come back to the editor. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add one more death pit. These spikes. Because I haven't used those anywhere yet. So we have death spikes. Now what these will do is if you run into them sideways, it'll kill you also. You know, just landing on this square will kill you. So this will keep the person from running past the ladder and trying to jump across this pit right here. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. I hear the thing beeping, so I've got to save the video.